Hey guys, this is Justin from Leapers, back with another exciting new product. Today, I have our super slim M-Lock handguard for AK rifles. Let's get into it. Today, we'll be demonstrating how to swap out your factory handguard for something much more modern and modular. Always make sure to clear your action to make sure the chamber is unloaded before making any modifications. Remove the top dust cover by depressing the recoil spring assembly and pulling the dust cover up and outward. Once the dust cover is off, you can remove the recoil spring. Now you can remove the piston rod bolt carrier group out of the lower receiver. Locate the handguard latch next to the rear sight post and rotate it upward with a pair of pliers. This will allow you to remove the upper handguard. Rotate the upper handguard 180 degrees until you are able to remove the gas tube. Now that the factory handguard is fully disassembled, let's get started on installing the Leapers Super Slim M-Lock handguard. Locate the lower handguard lock and rotate the lock 180 degrees or until you can slide the handguard band out. Now the lower handguard can slide forward and out of the receiver. Inside the box, you will find one nine slot Picatinny rail, the handguard itself, one user manual, along with four handguard spacers, one barrel clamp assembly, one reflex sight adapter plate, one T20 Torx wrench, and one T15 Torx wrench. There are four spacers included in the package. Find the one that best fits against the front of the receiver just below the barrel. We have already pre-selected the spacer that fits best. Slide the handguard band back to its original position and place the super slim handguard underneath the barrel. It should now align with the front of the handguard band. Place the included barrel spacer assembly down onto the barrel within the area cutout. The center piece should be placed down with its cross bolt channels facing upwards. Then place the two barrel spacer assembly inserts on the left and right hand side of the center piece with their square lugs facing down and keying into the barrel spacer assembly. While holding the lower handguard centered and against the underside of the barrel receiver, insert the two long T15 torque screws through the recessed screw holes on the left and right hand side of the handguard. Thread the screws into the barrel spacer assembly locking inserts. Evenly tighten the torque screws until secure. Recommended torque value is around 20 inch pounds. Reinstall the gas cylinder to the receiver and rotate the latch downward back to its locked position. Now you are ready to place the upper handguard onto the gas cylinder by aligning the upper and lower screw holes. This may take some finesse, but you should eventually be able to get the screw holes to align. Evenly tighten all four countersunk T20 torque screws to secure the upper and lower handguard together. Again, recommended torque value is around 20 inch pounds. Once all screws are tightened to recommended torque values, you've completed the basic installation of the Super Slim M-Lock AK handguard. Now we're ready to put the rifle back together. The handguard's M-Lock modularity gives you the option to mount or attach any M-Lock accessories to the rail. Some of my favorites to attach are hand stops and angled index mounts for increased versatility. If you like this video and want to see more content featuring Leaper's newest products, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also see more by following our social media accounts linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.